Hello, welcome to the Mythology Manifest. For today's video I am going to be doing a review on the book Mythos by Stephen Fry. The opinions I put forward in this video are purely mine and of course you don't have to agree with them, but I do hope you enjoy this video. Firstly, I'll just do a quick summary of the book. Mythos is Stephen Fry's telling of popular Greek and Roman myths that focus, in this book, mainly on the gods. That being the gods' beauty, the gods' wrath, and the punishment that they gave out, starting from creation to very minor gods such as nymphs and dryads, as well as the impact that they had on mortals. This book also includes little side notes packed full of information about how to pronounce names, what different Greek words mean in English, and what it all me meant to Greek society. My favourite thing about Mythos is the way it focuses on the storytelling, rather than just pushing information on you and expecting you to understand. Stephen Fry draws you into the story and makes it possible for you to imagine the characters and creatures in your mind as if they were real. When I was younger, I got the Harry Potter audiobooks to listen to, and these were narrated by Stephen Fry. The way he tells stories is fascinating. When reading Mythos, I could hear Stephen Fry's voice in my mind telling the stories, and that made it all the more wonderful to read. The way he writes explains the myths fully, but not too technically, so that they still have magic and mystery surrounding them, which is why I find this book so enjoyable to read. It allows me to relive the first time I ever heard or read about these myths, and they still give me a warm feeling inside that many of the happier myths have always filled me with. My favourite myth that is explained in this book is Cupid and Psyche. In my opinion, this myth is one of the most interesting and heartwarming myths. It involves many gods and goddesses, has a real story to it, and has a deep meaning that we should trust each other as well as loving people for who they are inside, not just based on how they look. Stephen Fry really does get across the ideals of this myth in his telling, and makes the story seem alive. He has a true talent for this. This myth is also the basis for Beauty and the Beast, but I'll be discussing that in a later video. The book has every aspect of mythology written down perfectly, from the hubris of many of the heroes to the anger and petulance of the gods. Another thing that I think is brilliant about this book is that it is not just for people who already love and have an understanding of Greek and Roman mythology. As Stephen Fry explains everything in detail and gives a well-rounded summary of all the gods and heroes, it is perfect for an introduction to mythology and for a read to enhance your knowledge on the subject. Mythos also mixes the old myths with popular culture. This includes the dialogue, the metaphors and the similes and it actually also references things that have been influenced by the myths in popular culture. For example, when talking about the muse Terpshaw, Stephen Fry includes an example from a Monty Python sketch where Terpshaw is mentioned. It is also filled with pictures of ancient artwork, which is incredibly interesting to look at, especially if you're studying it. I would really recommend this book as it is an excellent read that is similar to all of the ancient epics, but with more passion and story to it. The way it is written is fantastic, and the magic of the mythology comes alive in the words and in your mind, and for me, it reminds me of why I fell in love with the classics in the first place. Mythos is one of the books that inspired me to start work on my own set of fantasy fiction novels, which I am working on at the moment. I would love to be able to convey a story in a similar way to Stephen Fry, and by that, I mean be able to hook a reader and keep them interested in my work and create lovable characters as well as fascinating plot lines which keep the reader engaged. Stephen Fry has also written another book based on Greek mythology. This one is called Heroes and is actually my favourite of the two as it discusses all of the best myths and heroes from all of mythology, but I will be reviewing that one in my next video. I think it's brilliant that there are people like Stephen Fry who write books like this, and that, like you, are helping keeping classics alive. And that is a brilliant thing. Let me know if you have read or plan to read Mythos and what you thought, either down in the comments or on Twitter, which I have left a link to in the description below. Mythos really is a fantastic book, and I highly recommend it. 
I will see you next time on the Mythology Manifest. <laughs>